if you would have told me 10 years ago, this is where I would be at 37, I think I would have just lost my mind. Good morning. Where do I even start? First time on the way to get my nails done this morning. Uh, and while I drive, I'm just gonna, you know, spill the beans a bit as much as I can. Uh, so those of you who follow this channel and Instagram and Facebook and like, you know, there has been an, an open case into the people who burned down our house in 2019 when I was nine months pregnant with Beckett. That happened. And then last year, when I was nine months pregnant with Bonnie, that's when the case took a turn uh, and they had a search warrant for this person's house. They found my things, including my wedding dress. <laughs> not funny. I'm just an inappropriate laugher. It's not, I, I in no way think this is funny in, in any other sense than this is just ridiculous, right? It sounds like I'm making this up, but I am not. Obviously, there's so many details that I cannot fit into a, a five-minute, you know, intro. I'll, that will take me a two-hour podcast, probably, to really just tell everything, which I maybe can do, and we're getting to that. Maybe soon I can do that. So, anyways, it's been a year since that happened, and at, we've had check-ins, basically, where there's a, there's, there's a court hearing, but nothing ever happens at these court hearings. Like, I've been in communication with the, you know, DA's office, whatever, for the past year. They'll say, there, here's the next day, nothing's going to happen, her lawyer's just going to keep doing this thing where he pushes it off and pushes it off and blah, 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 blah. Then there was talk about maybe offering her a plea deal, but that never came to fruition, as far as we knew. And they asked us what we would be okay with, what were our requirements, and of course, jail time was part of that, and then, you know, probation and whatever, whatever. Let's go back. We don't hear anything. Positions change within the court system. There was a court date this week. We never heard anything from anyone, so we assumed it was just another one of those check-ins, push it back another court date, nothing's happening, whatever. So nobody called us. Anyways, I just got this, <laughs> this feeling that I needed to call and ask somebody what had happened. So I tried and they were all in court. Nobody was answering the phone, couldn't get a hold of anybody. So then I just like start panicking for some reason in my, my gut. Something ain't right. Finally get in contact with someone who was within the system. They're like, okay, let me see what I can find out. Call me back. Called Ken back. And proceeds to tell us that this girl gonna just go home and be on probation for 11 years and pay restitution to the insurance company, not to us, to the insurance company. And have a felony on the record. But no jail time. To which I proceed to lose my sh**. Obviously. So on the on the court thing, the the paperwork or whatever, it says eleven years, sentenced to five years for this and six years for this, arson and theft, burglary, suspended. Eleven years. But it's, it's suspended, meaning she doesn't have to serve any time unless she messes up her probation. Okay. Now, not happy, obviously. Can I do anything about this? No. Was in, I asked 
if this was cool with us? No. Was I at the hearing? No, because no one told me that anything was going to happen. You go through all of this, and at the end, still, you know. Oh, she has a felony? Okay, <laughs> she works on OnlyFans. It's not like she had a huge career that a felony's gonna interfere with. No one gives a crap if she has a felony. On OnlyFans, right? Nobody cares. It might add to her street cred for all I know. I don't know. Anyways, so that's where we are on that. However, plot twist. Last night, after we, you know, heard all this and we'd spoken to all the people that we could reach out to and, you know, voice star. Uh, I don't even know. It said, hey, we're pissed. Uh, this is not what we agreed to. We didn't agree to anything. Um, so, last night, a, a news, Facebook news person posted that the judge hasn't signed this deal. Meaning, it's not for sure in place. So I don't know what's going to happen today. I don't know if this is for sure, for sure, the um, end of this or, or, you know, how this is going to end. I don't know. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I am exhausted. Um, at the same time, I have some friends and family going through really horrible things right now. So, in no way am I having a pity party over here. At all. Uh, it's just frustrating. I'm still here. I'm still living my life. I'm stronger than I was. Um, a lot of good has actually come from these horrible things. I can't complain. But you know what? You cannot run. single day she has to wake up and be her and I get to wake up and be me and I find some peace in that so it was I'm gonna get my nails done today shipment of Element Electrolords. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's a really good day when I get a new box of electrolytes because I run out. Like I get this many every month that I still run out. I love Element so much. Oh look, look a sticker. Oh that's funny. That's going on my laptop. I love Element. They're my favorite electrolytes. I drink them every single day. So does Ken. So does Beckett. They've got all the good stuff in them, including 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, 60 milligrams of magnesium, no sugar, no junk, just awesome electrolytes. The flavor of the summer is grapefruit. Now, I don't have grapefruit in here, but I have tried it. It's pretty good. It's not my favorite. I like the watermelon and the orange the best. Now, these are keto-friendly, low-carb-friendly because, like I said, no sugar. They're sweetened with stevia. Sometimes they send recipe books. I think I'm going to try this one. It looks really good. They tell you how to mix it. I always over dilute mine. So I actually put mine in 40 ounces of water. I just like the flavor better that way. You can do it however you want. As usual, for all of my viewers, Element will send you a free sample pack of eight different flavors that you can try and find your favorite. So make sure to head down to the link on the screen or in the description and get your free sample pack. As always, thanks to Element for sponsoring today's crazy vlog. Since we got back from Texas, my eating has kind of changed. I've actually started fasting more. Not intentionally, just naturally. So I do what's called, what I call, intuitive fasting. Uh, and essentially that means I eat when I'm hungry and if I'm not hungry I don't eat. And lately I've just not been that hungry. Now I did just get off my cycle and I am usually less hungry during my cycle. Uh, but afterwards my appetite 
bumps right back. This time it hasn't. I actually have fasted for 20 hours um, for like two days in a row, which that's a lot of fasting time for me. So essentially my eating window was very, very small. I still ate close to my usual amount. Um, I also just wasn't liking food in general. It just did not taste good. Now, it's the heat, I think. And it's not even close to as hot as it was in Texas and Tennessee. In fact, it's quite nice. But the heat for me makes me want cold things. Like I don't want my usual burgers and steaks and, and chicken wings and stuff like that. I want salad. And I do this every year. If you watch my channel, if you've been here a long time, you have seen me cycle in the summer, I eat salads. And for me though, a salad may not look like what you think about when you say salad. So for instance, today I'm having, I don't even know what to call it. It's shrimp, cold shrimp in a vinegar base with cucumbers and tomatoes and cilantro and salt, like a lot of salt. And that sounds amazing. So that is what I'm gonna eat today. This morning I had I went to the cafe and I got a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich and I just ate the center off of it, which was kind of hard to do because I asked for it on a bagel and they put it on a panini, which whatever, it's fine. I still could, whatever, you know, <laughs> least of my problems today. I managed, it was fine. I still, I wasn't that hungry this morning, but I was feeling a little nauseous. I'm not pregnant, I'm just stressed out, I think probably is the most of it, but I was a little nauseous and so I just, I didn't eat that much of it, but now I'm gonna eat this delicious shrimp salad. We're gonna call it shrimp salad. And uh, I, Melissa, actually, it's her recipe. If she has it on her blog, I'll put it in the description for you guys, but honestly, <laughs> it's pretty simple. I'm not gonna lose my guys are working on the house today when they get done I'm gonna walk over there and give you an update because that is the highlight of my life right now besides my kids we're actually having a very mild summer here in Tennessee isn't that a cute look by the way uh, it's in the 80s the humidity is not bad I'll take it it is stormed nearly every single day since we've been home like really really stormed yesterday the bottom fell out while i was outside and i was like okay no warning whatsoever it just blew up and started pouring rain thundering and lightning it was horrible <laughs> well it looks like it's looking bad out there i don't mind storms except for when the wind starts blowing then i get freaked out we don't have a basement in this house the new house does have a basement. That was a big deal. Uh, Tennessee's always had tornadoes, but I feel like, man, in the last few years, the tornadoes are just way more frequent. And maybe I'm making that up, but it doesn't, I don't think so. I really don't think so. Bonnie's birthday coming up in a few weeks. I'm gonna show you her little outfit and tell you what the theme is and I'm super excited. I think instead of a smash cake, we may do ribs. She loves ribs and um, we did a smash cake for Beckett. Melissa made it and it was beautiful and it was delicious and it was great. I just, I don't know. It's, I just think, honestly don't think Bonnie would care about a cake. She loves meat. Like more than Beckett ever loved me. She will gobble it up so fast. Anyways, let me go get her little outfit. I'm gonna show it to you. It's so cute. Got it off Etsy, of course. Okay, so since her birthday is in July, her official birthday, her actual birthday is uh, July 11th, 7-11. What a beautiful birthday, right? Her theme is, wait for it. I, I came up with this all by myself. I'm so proud. <laughs> Red, white, 
and Bonnie Blue. Ooh. Little Miss America, all right? And I ordered all the, all the decorations came from Etsy. There it goes. Yep, there, there we go. Ooh. Uh, I haven't had, speaking of rain, we haven't had any leaking lately. Do you hear that though? kind of sounds like it might be leaking. And uh, if, you, if you missed that part, that's why the new house, we're moving to a new house. We're building a new house. Whatever. Okay, so this is her banner. I'm not going to open it up because I don't want it to get tangled, but it's the little ribbons with the pom-poms. And it says Bonnie Blue, I think. Or it may say, it may say, it may say one, like first birthday. I don't know. I can't remember. I was really on top of things this year with her stuff, <laughs> unlike Beckett's, and I ordered this stuff way ahead of time, so I've had it like in a hiding place this whole time so I didn't get it lost. Y'all, look at this. Y'all, 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 look at this. That's not the cutest part. I can't take it. I can't take it. Presh, presh. So that's her little birthday outfit mm, that she's gonna ruin with rib sauce, but that's okay with me. <laughs> so I was gonna take you up to see the house, but I'm gonna have to wait, I guess, until the storm blows over. All right, here she is. So much progress was made while we were gone to Texas. So before we left, there was just the basement framing and now the first level is framed oh shoot I walked up here um I'm gonna see if I can oh yeah they've got the ladder sweet I can climb up here and show you guys hope I don't kill myself the things I do for a shot Okay, so this is the front door. When you come in, there's just a little foyer, foyer. This will be the dining room area. Through here, it's an open floor plan. So from the dining room, that will be the kitchen, an island, a little breakfast nook over there, living room area, fireplace here. Stairs down to the basement. Beckett's room. One of the kids room, I don't know. I'm gonna let him pick since he's the oldest. One of the kids rooms, closet, just a basic closet. Bathroom, another bedroom, closet, and a lot of traffic today. <laughs> There's the back side. You can kind of see how it's going to look. There was supposed to be a door here, but we've decided to put a window just for security reasons. Um, I'm paranoid. What can I say? You walk back through. And this is going to be, like I said, the kitchen here in this area. And then butler's pantry here. And then our bedroom door will be here. And this is the master bedroom with a beautiful view, or it will be eventually anyways. Right now it's looking kind of sad and muddy. And walk-in closet. And bathroom. No, walk-in, this is the walk-in closet. This is the bathroom. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, 
So bathroom and then closet over there. And then downstairs is basically the same floor plan. It's another view. So downstairs, basically the same layout. There's a guest bedroom down there, which we'll probably, I'll probably make into my office. Another bathroom, a workout studio, small. Like this is, not, it's a small workout studio, like just free weights and probably that's it. Uh, but a room dedicated to that, so it's closed off. Uh, we have a library. So where the kids' rooms are up here, down there it's gonna be a library the whole space which is something Ken and I both fantasized about as well our whole lives really we both wanted a library and so he'll have his end and I'll have my end and then a family area or a and then the center area where the living room is up here will be a area for us to have kind of a like maybe a wet bar and an entertaining area and then upstairs there'll be an upstairs and it's just two bonus rooms they're not dedicated to anything i suspect that they will end up just being arts and crafts um homeschool things for the kids and just extra storage and maybe a guest bedroom up there so there's two bonus rooms but there, there's not a bathroom up there so that's the only thing we could probably put a half bath but i don't know I'm very excited. Uh, we also have the three car garage, which will not be used as a garage. As far as I know, our plans are to use that as a space for um, storing, storing the, the meat that we um, buy from local farmers or the meat from our own sheep, um, the eggs, Maybe we sell things at a certain point. Maybe we have a little country store. I don't know. And then the upstairs of the three car garage will be for storage. So yeah, that's it guys. Life is good. It's a beautiful life. I am eternally grateful for all the good things God has blessed me with. And no matter what may come, um, you know, I have what's important, my family, my happiness, the best job in the world, being a health coach, being able to be a YouTuber. Like <laughs> if you had told me 10 years ago, this is where I would be at 37, I think I would have just lost my mind and said, is there any way I could skip to that part? So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know a lot of people have a lot of questions. I promise you, no one has more questions than me. Uh, I think the main answer I would like is why. I don't know if I'll ever get the answer to that question, but honestly, at this point, I don't care. My life is beautiful. Maybe I'll see you in the next one. Love you, mean it.